Greetings Skyrim fans and welcome to another week of must-have mods for your game. I'm thrilled to be your guide through the exciting world of Skyrim modding, bringing you the latest and greatest mods to enhance your gameplay. Whether you're a seasoned adventurer or a newcomer to the game, these mods will add new dimensions to your experience and take your gameplay to the next level. If you click subscribe and like before watching the video, it will help the channel grow a lot. Then let's start. The first mod I will introduce to you is the Sprint Sneak Movement Speed Fix. Sprint Sneak Movement Speed Fix mod addresses a long-standing issue in Skyrim where drawing, sheathing, or shouting while sprinting or sneaking causes the game to apply incorrect movement speed data on the character, slowing it down or speeding it up. This issue is caused by mistakes in the game's behavior graphs. Although there are other mods that attempt to fix this issue, they either patch the behaviors partially or rely on scripts that have side effects. This mod takes a different approach by checking if the behavior graph's movement type aligns with the actual sprint, sneak state and applying the correct one if necessary. As a result, players can enjoy smoother and more accurate sprinting and sneaking movements without any glitches or side effects. Therefore, this mod provides a complete fix without any side effects making it the best option for players who want to avoid this issue entirely. The second mod to introduce is EVG Conditionals Extended. EVG Conditionals Extended is an animation mod that greatly extends the amount of animation in Everglades EVG Conditional Idols mod. This mod provides a full set of animations for almost all actions when low in health, stamina, magicka, and when nude. This add-on is meant to complete the experience EVG Conditional Idols wanted players to feel. It enables players to see mid-combat when they or the NPCs are going low in health, stamina, or magicka, no matter what weapons or magic they are using. Additionally, if naked, players and NPCs will try to cover their delicates with the weapons. This mod is an add-on for Everglades EVG Conditional Idols, and it provides a more immersive experience by adding new animations. There is more than what is showcased in the video, so players should get in-game and try different actions to see them all. Overall, this mod provides a fully immersive experience by adding new animations that make the game feel more realistic. The third mod to introduce is Community Shaders. Community Shaders is a SKSE core plugin that provides community-driven advanced graphics modifications for Skyrim. It includes a unified shader cache that enables fast multi-threaded compilation to a disk cache for instant startup. Asynchronous shader compilation allows in-game shader hot reloading in a second. The mod also offers direct access to the game through SKSE and common libs, and features an in-game menu with tips, powered by I'm Gui and Reshade. Community Shaders is designed for speed and reliability. It should be noted that Community Shaders is still in early development stages. The mod was created out of the developer's work on the light limit fix, which was then migrated to work done by Jonax. Despite being in early development, users can still access cool features and help test the underlying framework. To access the in-game menu, users must have Reshade installed. Reshade will be used for a separate project that is compatible with ENB, unless something changes. The menu can be accessed by pressing the end key. The fourth mod to introduce is Blades Armors and Weapons Retexture. Blades Armors and Weapons Retexture SE is a mod that focuses on retexturing various armor sets and weapons in Skyrim. The main focus of this mod is to retexture the Blades Armor set, shield, and sword but it also includes optional textures for other items such as Dragonbane, Bowler's Oathblade, Ancient Akaviri Katana, and three Akaviri Guardian Blades. Additionally, textures are included for Oblivion Artifacts Pack's Sunderblade, Aegis of the Apocalypse, Tower of the Nine, and Immersive Creatures Ancient Akaviri Armor. It's important to note that this mod only contains textures and does not include any meshes or plugins, making it safe to add or remove from your game at any time. The light and medium set textures are based on a Midian-born Book of Silence, and their normal maps were used as a base to create the retexture. One of the main advantages of this mod is its compatibility with other mods that work with vanilla blades textures, such as Heavy Armory and Animated Armory. 
The textures are of high quality, giving the armor and weapons a new and refreshed look. This mod is an excellent choice for players looking to improve the visual aspect of their Skyrim gameplay. The fifth mod to introduce is the Siri Witcher Voice Pack. The Siri Witcher story? Voice Pack mod is an AI synthesized voice pack for the Dragonborn helmet? voiceover mod, which adds really Siri's voice from Witcher 3 to Skyrim. This mod provides a dots? complete voice pack that includes all Skyrim DLC, allowing players to immerse themselves so in the game with brother. Siri's voice. The voice pack is generated like using AI synthesis, ensuring a high quality and natural like sounding voice that matches Siri's voice her from Witcher 3. This mod replaces the Dragonborn's What's voice in with Skyrim outfit? with Siri's voice, allowing players to experience oh, Skyrim with a fresh perspective. Nice. With Siri's voice guiding them through the game, players can feel more connected to the character and story, enhancing the overall experience. The mod is easy to install and is compatible with other mods that work so with Dragonborn voiceover. Overall, the Siri Witcher voice pack mod is an exciting addition to Skyrim helmet? that allows players to experience the game in a new way. By adding Siri's voice to the what game, the this mod provides a unique and immersive experience that fans of both Skyrim and Witcher 3 are so sure to appreciate. The sixth mod to introduce is Clouds All Over All in One. Clouds All Over is a Skyrim mod that combines 15 cloud mods into one merged ESP, providing users with a vast array of cloud textures to choose from. The mod is LOD friendly, and the clouds are fully visible from very far away, without the need to generate or regenerate LOD. Additionally, the mod is fully compatible with other mods and has no conflicts, besides water records. The clouds in this mod reflect the time of day and weather, and are static with expansive movement. The clouds cycle, move, disappear, and appear in the same place, and they won't block views. The mod is cleaned and ESPFE'd, ensuring that it is stable and free of errors. However, the visibility and saturation of clouds depend on the ENB configuration, and clouds are also configurable in volumetric fog. For vanilla games, it is recommended to use the less dense versions available in the individual files. The seventh mod to introduce is Stellaris. This mod adds a new set of spells to the game, all centered around cosmic or astral energy. The spells are divided into two schools, Restoration and Alteration. The Restoration spells are focused on healing and dealing astral damage to enemies. The spell list includes a variety of damage-dealing spells that do unresistible astral damage, as well as spells that can heal the player and reduce the damage they take. The spells are divided into Novice, Apprentice, Adept, Expert, and Master levels of difficulty, with more powerful spells being unlocked as the player progresses through the game. The Alteration spells, on the other hand, focus on enhancing the player's physical abilities and defenses. They include spells that can increase armor rating, movement speed, magic resistance, and the chance to absorb spells. Again, these spells are divided into different levels of difficulty. The mod also introduces new items, such as scrolls, staffs, and spell tomes, which can be purchased from Nelikar in the Frozen Hearth Inn. Overall, Stellaris adds a new dimension of gameplay to Skyrim, allowing players to harness the power of astral energy and explore new ways to defeat enemies and enhance their own abilities. That's it for this week's must-have Skyrim mods. I hope you've enjoyed this video and found some mods that pique your interest. As always, be sure to check out the mod authors' pages and show your support for their hard work. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with our weekly mod showcases. Until next time, happy modding!